Welcome carbon steel lovers, it's Steve from Made In. Today, you requested this, so we're bringing it to you. Rusty carbon steel pans. Maybe you saw one at the flea market, it looks just like this, don't be scared of it. We actually left this in the elements for 30 days because we love you. We're gonna take this thing from rusty, get it stripped down, seasoned, ready to cook with, and show you that carbon steel pans can really last for years. Stay tuned. Here's what you'll need. Soap, vinegar, baking soda, something abrasive like a steel wool, definitely a sponge, and the towel of your choice. How does this pan get like this? First thing you gotta realize is that rust is totally natural. Carbon steel itself actually has about 2%, 1% uh, carbon steel content actually in this pan. The rest of it is iron. Iron absolutely loves to get rusty. And all it needs is oxygen and a little bit of moisture. If you leave this in a humid area, that could be under your sink. Maybe it was outside sitting on your grill for a while. Rust will form. Now the best way to protect against rust is to make sure that you have a layer between the iron and the rest of the world. That layer essentially is called seasoning. And that's what we're gonna do to this pan at the very end. But first, let's get all this rust off. First things first, I'm gonna get this water as hot as my hands can bear, and I'm gonna put a lot of soap in this so it can really get to that layer and see what we're working with. So you'll notice that the sponge that I have has both a soft and an abrasive side. I'm using the abrasive side off the rip, and the reason why is because I wanna make sure to use the abrasive side and get as much rust as possible off. That's gonna make my job a lot easier down the road. Step one is done. This is what we're working with. And as I look at this pan, we still have a good amount of rust sitting in the middle of this pan, a good amount on the edges as well. But I'm able to see some of the actual bare metal already, which is exactly what we're going for. We wanna get down to that base layer as much as possible and then put on a nice new coat of seasoning. Also what I noticed here too is, you know, this dark bit around the edge. That's oil, that's polymerized oil, and that's seasoning. We wanna go ahead and strip that off too. This next step is gonna take care of all of this. We're going to wanna get this pan submerged fully in a solution of vinegar and water. 50-50 works just fine, but truly you're gonna to wanna to put as much vinegar as you can in this thing. I'm gonna use a clear bin so you can kinda of see what's happening, but if you have a sink at home, which I suspect you do, go ahead and just use that. It works just fine. Now, vinegar time. I just have distilled white vinegar, but any kind of table vinegar will work just fine. You're noticing I'm not covering the handle. The handle itself uh, is stainless steel. Therefore, I don't have to worry about any rust on it at this time. So what I'm gonna do is actually just take a little bit of vinegar when I go clean it, and we'll be good to go. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back, check this out. Now what's gonna be happening is the vinegar is really gonna do its job. It's gonna start lifting some of that oil. It's gonna get the rust a little bit more loose for me. So when I take this to the sink, I can really get scrubbing and you'll really start to see a difference. Let it sit, let the vinegar do its job, and it's gonna make it much easier down the road. All right, so we're back. It's been 30 minutes. I already see some bits kind of floating in here. I'm gonna just put this on a cutting board and I can already see a lot of the bare metal is, is, is really starting to show itself here. Bottom side, same thing. And I mean, look at, look at this already. For the next step, I'm gonna take this over to the sink. Just a little bit of soap and water. We'll use the same sponge that we used earlier. There's definitely gonna be some more rust there. There's definitely gonna be some oil that's still caked on, but it's okay. We're gonna use vinegar and baking soda and then the steel wool and really get rid of that stuff. Look at this, it looks like a different pan, but I promise you it's the same pan. All we needed was vinegar, water, and a little bit of time, and we've already gotten down to this base layer. You will notice there is some oil that's still on the rim here. We're gonna get that off, that's fine. First things first, I wanna put baking soda, just a little bit. Now, what you'll notice is I'll add vinegar until it starts to create kind of this little paste, and I'm gonna rub the paste all over the pan itself. We don't need to let this sit. It already did the hard work by sitting for 30 minutes. Just a little bit, kind of make it a little bit of a paste here. 
very simple. This is when the elbow grease is very important. Just make sure everything gets coated. Now that's a little bit liquidy, so let's add just a tad bit more baking soda here. So what am I looking for at this time? By now you should see um, some of the pieces and remaining uh, rust start to break away from the pan itself. And all I wanna do is make sure I get all this coated. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and start worrying about the backside now. Same thing, some baking soda and just a little bit of vinegar here to kind of make a paste. All right, so now we're good and coated, but we do still have a little bit of seasoning on the handle here. And as we know, with our pans, especially our carbon steel pans, once it's seasoned, we wanna stay away from acid. So the perfect thing to get this seasoning off of the handle is gonna be vinegar. So I'll put just a little bit on the wool. I'm gonna add it to this handle. So what I'm gonna do is actually take this over to the sink, wash it out with soap and water, get to that base layer. And I'm also gonna clean off this cutting board. We have a great video on how to do that. Make sure to check that afterwards. Now I'm trying to play it cool, but I'm really excited about this pan because just look at it. Got down to the bare metal, all that rust is gone. I was terrified every single day that we left it outside, but I'm very happy to see where it is now. And the most important thing right now is we wanna season this. My go-to oil is grapeseed oil, so I'll be using that for the seasoning and just a couple of paper towels and we'll get this thing taken care of and put away ready to cook whenever you are. Add just a very little bit of grapeseed oil here. And we're gonna wanna coat the whole pan here. All of it needs its coating. We're only using a little bit of oil here. Too much oil will get us a sticky mess. So just a light layer will do it. And I'm gonna do the stovetop method it's my favorite method. It's quick, it's efficient. Now, one thing I do wanna note, I went ahead and dried this completely. Went to the stove, put it on low to medium heat, evaporated any water that I could not see. Because if water gets trapped underneath that oil, it's gonna cause more rusting. So make sure it's completely bone dry before you add oil. There is no excess oil here. If you need to, go ahead and take another napkin and just dry it out, but we're good to go. I'm gonna put this right on the stove right now all right low heat to start and then we're going to rise it up the goal is we want to get this oil this light layer of oil that's on there we want to get it past its smoke point for grapeseed oil the smoke point somewhere around 420 to 450. once we get to that level you'll notice that the pan will start to smoke that means that you're, you're exactly where you need it to be after it smokes and the smoke stops you know that your pan is seasoned we're going to let it come back down one thing that you'll see a lot of people do is rotating their pan so that the flames can reach every single corner of the pan. I don't do it that often because typically, depending on the range that you have and how much flame you get, it's able to reach every corner of the pan. But for this first seasoning, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to make sure everything is good to go. I wanted to go ahead and let this cool after we went ahead and seasoned it. As it cools down, you'll see it get a little bit darker. Let's just take a second. Think about what happened, right? We started out with this nasty rust bucket and now perfect, ready to cook on. What I would do is go put some bacon on this, let it get another nice layer of seasoning, get nice and slick for you and you're good to go. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comment box and make sure you subscribe, send it to someone that could really use this video. Catch you next time.